All right, so we're going to be taking a look today at this nice graphics card. This is my old R9 290 um, non-X, just the 290. It's the Sapphire Tri-X edition. And the first thing you might notice is that it's not in that uh, god-awful school, <laughs> school bus yellow that it came in. Um, so when I got this card, I loved the performance. I loved the value. It was after you could finally get them after the Litecoin mining died down. Um, the ASICs started coming out. You could finally get the Titan Killer GPUs, and it was great. But the uh, the downside was that god awful color, and it just did not match with any of my system. Um, especially didn't match with uh, my case. I just got the brand new shiny Fractal Define uh, R5, and man, that was a great case. I loved the black and white, the simple design. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna paint the graphics card. And this thing was actually really easy to paint. All of the all of the black through here is just metal and that actually all comes off and the shroud is just really easy to take off. Um, I think there's even a guide for this specific model of, uh, of 290 on somewhere on YouTube. And so, um, really easy to take off. And when I did that, I actually I replaced the thermal paste, obviously you have to redo it. Um, redid it with some uh, Arctic MX4, help temperatures maybe two or three degrees, nothing crazy. Um, but what else I did was on the VRMs, um, I actually replaced the thermal pads with uh, much more conductive material and that actually helped lower my VRM temperature somewhere in the realm of uh, 10 to 15 degrees which doesn't sound like a lot but this is, uh, bear in mind, the 200 series really likes its power and so the more that you can do to keep the uh, the temperature down on those VRMs, the more efficient they're going to be, the lower your voltage leak is going to be, the, the I mean just, just the better the car it's going to run and so that did help me eck out an extra 40 or 50 megahertz on this thing. This thing ran stable for good while with the air cooler at uh, a little over 1200 megahertz um, and I think 1500 on the memory maybe a little quicker maybe a little slower you know give or take but yeah I mean this thing was this thing was a beast of a card one hell of a bang for a buck thing um, it's been being used in my brother's rig for a while now um, looked great in there too but uh, recently um, took it back he's just been borrowing it I was gonna set it up on our on the mining rig that I've got going however we plug it in um, the two outermost fans spin but the center fan does not so I feel like that's probably just the center fan failing or it may be something to do with drivers or initialization um, but I'm not sure on that I'm not I'm not sold and so um, the other thing is we tried another graphics card that we do know works on the mining rig and it would not boot And so I think there may be something else going on in that system. So I just wanted to double check while we've got this Test bed open just wanted to double check the card and see if she's rocking and rolling So to do this um, this is actually only a 500 watt unit Which is not enough to run this beast of a card on its own So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to get a second power supply We're gonna have to set it up. We're gonna have to uh, jump it with a paperclip and we're going to have that actually just run the GPU. And then we're going to be running it again. We're going to be using um, one of the risers that we have just for uh, just for convenience sake, just because it's a lot easier. And it, it, quite frankly, I don't feel like trying to finagle this in here into the hard drive cage or having to take a Dremel to it or really any of that. And so that's that's where we'll be. That's what we're doing. There's nothing else. We can just do a time lapse here. Oh, sweet. We already got it pre-wired up to jump. <laughs> Good. I've done this before, I can see. All right, so we're going to move this out of the way. Get that out of the way. Got to get this power supply up and in here. This is getting sketchier and sketchier bottom right here. Don't don't plug it in just yet because there's, there's no switch on this unit, so I can't turn it off once it starts because of the jumper. See what I'm saying? Boom. So yeah, as we can see, we've got the uh, third fan spun up, and then it stopped. 
and so it's just hanging out there don't know what's up with that um, system should be booting up now we'll uh, see on the screen here in just a second whether or not we've got a, a problem or not alright booted into Windows yep and there it is Radeon 200 series so what that tells me is that this card is in fact uh, working just fine and what I thought about it being a driver issue you see that all three fans have now stopped so what that tells me is that this probably I don't know why we just put the, the phone in the shot to get the shot but yeah what that tells me is that was a that was a common problem this was the first generation of fans that the 200 series and the 900 series from Nvidia those were the first time that GPU makers really put these these coolers on there that because these cards made so much heat under load and they, they were they were you know there's no need to run the fans at, at idle and so this is one of the first cards it's just it's got such a nice cooler on it such a beefy cooler it's just so well designed from Sapphire and, and plenty of other cards are this way too don't get me wrong that uh, yeah our fans are just sitting on there and so I, I presume it's just something to do with weird fan control um, if we actually installed the drivers for this card it would probably work just fine but we're not going to be doing that because we don't need to so that definitely tells me that something's wrong with the mining rig so that's uh... that'll be something else that we'll address here in the next next little while so thanks guys done again have a good one what is it shocking you? no no was it shocking you? no, no. What the fuck? Why am I the only one that ever gets shocked? <laughs>